Yo guys, JJ here. Welcome to an episode in which I'll show you how to bring this inventory into a 3D world. Yo guys, JJ here, back with another episode on how to make an inventory system in Unity 5. So in this episode, we're going to be bringing this inventory into a 3D world. So how do we do this? First off, we need to go to the scene menu and just toggle this 2D off because we need to go into 3D mode for this. And then after that, we're going to go up to where's this game object, 3D object, terrain. So that will make a terrain. It's very, very small compared to the canvas right here but that's fine we'll deal with it so then you're gonna go to the game object and create a light because it's pretty dark right now just a directional light it's fine and then after that we're actually gonna import a package so that you can move around and walk around your scene so just go right to assets right down to import package characters and once this is decompressed it'll import bring an import screen so I already imported it all so it's fine you'll just have an import button right here and just click it so if that doesn't show up, if you don't have the characters package when you go to the import package, if it's just this custom package, and that's it, you'll have to go to the window asset store and just enter in the standard assets. Just say standard assets. It'll bring you to the, the right screen. I don't need to do that right now, so it's fine. So after this, what do you need to do? So you just go to standard assets right here, go down to characters, first person don't forget just this prefabs and just drag the FPS controller right into the scene so you'll notice you just have to drag it over and just zoom in using F so you might have to lower it a bit and just drop it down okay that's a bit too much <laughs> okay so we got it pretty good also you'll notice when you import the FPS controller if you go to the game view it automatically uses this FPS controller first so we actually don't need that we can't can't use that so a way to fix this is we need to go to the camera if you go to camera you'll notice that this says right where it says depth is negative one and this FPS controllers camera if you go into this there you go it's depth of zero so this this camera is being used first so how do we fix that we just go to camera and just make it equal one and so now it uses this main camera so also what do we need to do so we can't see anything the FPS controller is seeing so how do we fix that we just go to culling mask right on the main camera click from everything to nothing and then just the UI and also go to clear for eggs or is this skybox and just do depth only that will that will fix all your problems that will fix everything where you can't see the the um the F FPS controller's camera. So that's all set. Now all you need to do is click play and you'll be able to look around, walk around and pick up the objects. So you'll still still be able to do that. If you were to use if you were to not be able, not um fix the depth on the main camera you won't be able to pick up any of the objects it'll basically be using the FPS controllers um, camera and it won't allow you to pick up any of the objects if you shift click you should be able to sort yep it's working perfectly right now so how do we make it so that you can hide this and then make it reappear when you want it to so just like click an E button and it'll open the inventory and then close the inventory when you click it again so First off, we're actually going to go to the main camera. If you notice down here, where it says the um, there's no audio, there's two audio listeners in the scene. Go to your main camera and just remove the audio listener. Also, um, go to your FPS controller. Well, I need to do this because I don't want you guys to be deaf. So I'm just going to lower this volume. That's good. Okay. So, once that's done, that's all good. So, now we can go and add the script. So, what are we going to do? We're actually first going to add a new component, create empty. 
it's got this object is going to be called a game controller. So the reason why we can't use the inventory controller is because we'll have to turn off the inventory or turn off the canvas and we won't be able to use the inventory controller because it will be turned off so it will counteract so when you click E again and it disables it you click E again and it won't, won't re-enable it so it's because it's turned off already so that's that's why we're using a separate object that can control the canvas and it won't it, this won't be disabled you'll see what I mean in, in just a moment so we're gonna add a new component this is gonna be a new script and we're just gonna call this game controller all right and now we can go and drag this game controller into the scripts folder let me just go in there click on this it'll open up and we got the game controller I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys okay so what do we need to do so first off we need to actually reference a couple things we need to reference the canvas, so public canvas. Actually, we're actually going to reference it as something different. So we'll say public transform canvas. That's good. So now we got the canvas. Okay, so as an update function, we actually don't need any of this. So transform canvas. So how do we get this? So what are we going to do? When we click the E button, so input, actually if input dot, oh, haven't done this in a little bit. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> so if input dot get key down. And this equals the key code dot e. So this is all set. So after we get the letter e, the key e, what are we gonna do? We're gonna um, see if the canvas is disabled or enabled. So is um, if the canvas lowercase keep forgetting the parentheses around it so if canvas dot active actually dot transform dot active in hierarchy actually dot set is hmm active dot position dot active Actually, I, f I first need to do this game object dot active in hierarchy. There we go. Now we got that. So it's game object, not transform. I forgot about that. So if the hierarchy is equal to false, then what are we going to do? We're going to set it to true. So basically can't um copy this whole thing and paste it down here. True. So if it's false, we're gonna set it to true. Actually I don't think we need the parentheses around this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so else if this camera canvas this canvas I'm just gonna copy this whole thing again, basically paste the whole thing and just replace these faults with true and the true with the faults. So that's basically all we need. And just save that and go back into this we're gonna need the canvas here wait a second what is this key right here okay so this is red only so 
we might have to use this so is active so we have to do set active so set active true so we have to do use I thought I thought we needed to use um, parentheses which we do but it's for only the set active so we can we can ask if it's true so we need to set it using set so set active and delete that and add some oh, add some brackets and stat it on the side there we go and we can just save that go back into the scene these should clear away yep which are good okay so now what we, what do we need to do we need to go to the game controller and add the canvas so right where it says canvas you drag this over bloop and there we go so we should be all set so we should be able to play this and click E and it hides it and every time we click it it makes it appear again so what's cool about this is it automatically saves the position of these objects it doesn't really change anything in the, in the, the canvas it just disables it see so we just click E and we can't drag anything while it's disabled so say we want to drag this try and drag this up it didn't do anything so which is cool also what we need to do is we need to disable the the um, FPS controller so we don't like move around while we're trying to drag our objects so see how in the background we're going up and down so we don't want that so that's also something we need to disable and re-enable so right where it says the FPS controller we need to disable the first person controller so how do we do that first off what we need to do is that we we need a reference uh, dictionary so using the unity standard assets dot characters dot first person controller and that's all set so now we can reference the first person controller so right where it says down here after the canvas is set to true we gotta disable this um, first person controller so game object so we need to actually grab it so first actually we don't need to do that so um hmm game object dot find wrong game object so game object with a capital G dot find object of type see if this is a uh, first person controller and after we find it dot enable equals false and then we basically just need to copy this and go down here and paste that in and make it equal true so that should be all set so save that go back into the scene yep no errors we're all set we just hit play and so for the first thing we actually need to disable the canvas first so I'm just gonna go to the canvas and disable this so now when we hit play we should be able to move up and down and then we hit E and we move up and down and it disables the background so we're all set with it there so now what are we gonna do we're gonna actually add a couple of boxes to this scene so it's not just like generic and bland we actually might add a little bit of terrain too so just lift up some of this terrain Ooh, it's a bit drastic there and just a painting the terrain just like very generic so grass now oh, we don't even have that so I guess we'll just leave it like this <laughs> so we'll go to the game see it's not exactly like super see look at it. so we can walk around and we can stop and it stops the first person 
go into the scene, just look on the first person, focus on on that. And it totally stopped. Actually, it looks like floating. So click E. E. Actually, no, that's that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> I was I was like, it looks like it's floating there for a second, but it's not. It's good. Uh, look at this. Wait a second. It looks like it's. Okay, so now we can't turn. So why is this? So what we need to do is we actually need to re-enable turning. I don't know how to disable the turning. I'll just see one second. Let's see. Can we turn? Okay, we can turn. Let me click this. Okay, so that was just a met must have been um, something where I didn't click right, or I clicked on something wrong and disabled it. But yeah. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And in the next episode, we're gonna be adding the functionality to drop and pick up objects. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.